do. The mill's significance, I don't know if everyone knows this, but the mill is big, 36 acres uh, in a city of 2.2 square miles. Uh, we have over 250,000 square feet of, uh, of uh, building. Some of that's been demolished now. Uh, 2,100 square uh, linear feet of state highway frontage, M89. It's adjacent to US 131 and the Central Business District. It's basically the front door. When you come into Plano off the highway, you see the mill. Um, and then the river frontage, the city owns, the community owns from the light downtown of the mill race all the way to US 131 is a river frontage that the city owns. So we think moving forward that redevelopment um, carried this out there to really transform the downtown. Um, right now, we, DPW uses this to dump leaves. In the future, that won't be there dumping leaves. It's gonna be something a lot nicer than that. Uh, one of the considerations whenever a big planning uh, process like this is underway is if you'll notice the Central Business District that the mill property is three times the size of the Central Business District. So when we talk about what do we do with these buildings, we want, to, um, we want to foster development that is going to complement our downtown. We don't want to empty the downtown out into the mill property. So we're very conscious of that. CRA is an environmental engineering company. Those are the jobs that we want. And you know, not to say that there won't be a restaurant or a microbrewery, I, I don't know, but uh, the Planning Commission City Council were very conscious of how important our downtown is. Um, and Denise, we have a new economic development manager here. Denise, you want to say hi? She's only been on the job a couple months, so um, she's been phenomenal downtown, and we're very conscious of that. Bankruptcy, November of 2000. Uh, the mill, and I've, I've said this before, you know, we don't consider this just a real estate deal. Um, if you talk to anyone that lives in the city and outside the city, they know somebody that worked at the mill, they worked at the mill. Socially, economically, culturally, historically, the mill means a lot to this community. So moving forward and, um, and what we do with the mill, um, we have that in mind that this isn't just a real estate deal. This means a lot to our community and to the residents. At one point, the mill consisted of 18% of the city's tax base. So that put us in dire straits. I've got a couple other slides that shows the economic impact of the mill closing. Uh, the risk, Playwell's uh, future is at risk. What's going to happen if we do nothing? All that's been debated. Um, negative impact on adjacent property values. I actually had a resident <coughs> uh, when the mill closed and we were looking to purchase the property asked me, how can the city afford purchasing the mill? Um, we just lost, we had no money. And I want to stress that sometimes inaction is a price as well. If this mill is not redeveloped, what happens to the value of the properties in the CBD, the properties across the street? There's countless examples of other mills. Uh, we could go rock tenant at Seagull. I don't know if anyone's seen what that looks like now. When you come in at Plainwell, the negative effect of us doing nothing would be huge. 